Hello everyone. In the previous video I showed you how to import your files into this uh, Cineform Studio from GoPro. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a time lapse. So uh, time lapses are pretty popular. You see them on the commercials on TV. You see people on YouTube making them. Um, you know it's pretty interesting. So I've gone ahead and taken some time lapse footage that I've already made. Um, we went out to Wolf Lake State Forest and that video was actually filmed using just the GoPro Hero 3. Now for this tutorial you can open up the Cineform Studio from GoPro and the nice thing about it is once you've done your time lapse you get all of these images. As you can see here this is a time lapse that I took with the GoPro and it is just images. There is no video file. So the first thing you want to do is select, well the first thing that I did was I created a new folder and separated all of my time lapse footage from all the other footage that I had uh, taken as well. Uh, the, ideally what you would like to do is format your card and make sure that you know you, you have all of your time lapse stuff first so that way you know when uh, the time lapse ends and the, on the SD card and when all the other footage begins if that's what you're doing. So the first thing you want to do is just select the first image and if you're on a PC you can just hold shift and click the last image to select all of them and select open. And what the Cineform Studio does is it takes all of those images and it turns them into a time-lapse movie. So if you press play you can watch the time-lapse and it'll scrub through or you can scrub through it just like you would any other type of video. Now next thing you want to do is change the file name obviously so you know what it is. So I'm just going to name it time lapse and you can also change the directory to where the file will save to so I've already got this set up to a folder labeled Cineform Tutorial and then you want to click this advanced settings. Now frame size um, if you're going to do any type of post production with any type of effects or anything like that um, you may want to just keep it at the source size and you can always scale it down or whatever you need to do with it in After Effects or whatever other software that you use. For this tutorial, I'm just going to select 1080p. I'm going to make it 16.9 and keep the frame rate at 30 frames per second or 29.97. We don't need to speed it up. It looks all right in about eight seconds. You know, for the amount of footage that I took, it's 260 frames, um, so that's not too bad. And we'll keep the file format AVI. You also have the option of MOV, and we want the high quality setting. And I always have this uh, checkbox, remember settings marked, so that if I'm doing multiple time lapses or I'm trying to import multiple videos, you know, I can set the settings for the first one and be set for the rest of them. And I have to go back in every time and change it. So you select OK. And if you watched the other, uh, how to import video, you would already know how to do this. But for everyone else, you select the add clip to conversion list and then start the conversion. Now what's going to happen is it's going to convert this into an AVI file using the settings that have been selected in this advanced settings. So this is going to be a 1080p 16.9 video essentially. Once this is done converting or making the conversion you can then import it into whatever other software that you may use Premiere Pro or After Effects for further editing or you can keep it right in the Cineform Studio and proceed to step two which is editing your time lapse or editing video in general and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching